In this lesson, we're going to be looking at setting the tab order for our form so that we can launch the form and add some data that we'll use in the next lesson when we start looking at adding a pop-up, a lookup window into our application. So I'll be right back in a few moments after these words. Hi, you're back with Martin and another video in which I'm looking at getting started with Open Insight 10. Before we get into the tab order, I just want to make sure that you guys have been up to app backup recently and that you have run a backup of your system because we've been doing quite a bit of work and I haven't reminded you to do it. So on my backup drive, I've got a a clinic backup files folder and I did a backup on the 24th 25th and I'll do one today on the 26th before we start working and if I just do OK then it's going to say it's going to create the backup file for me I do yes and we've done our backup now we've done quite a lot of work haven't been reminding you so just want to make sure that you've got a good backup there because you don't want to be going back to the beginning uh, the other thing is we're going to be working on our patients window quite a bit and it's not in our favorites so um, it might make sense to open that window up and if we go on to the top here just on the uh, the tab and add to favorites and we'll drop that into our favorites if we just come down to the quick launch then we can see we've got patients in there again now okay so we need to set the tab order why do we need to set the tab order well if we run the application we start off on our id control we then move to wherever i've actually lost the cursor on this one we've jumped around all over the place and you can see some of these you might be able to see some of these controls are flashing so we're now on to the comments we're now into the table and then we've jumped back somewhere else. We want to make sure that the cursor is running through these controls properly. So let's come out of here and back to our forms designer. And in the top corner here, you have got an icon here, set the tab order for the form. So it's the one with the little blue boxes and the little arrows. Click on that. And then that will give us a map, if you will, of our form so you just make the window a little bit bigger so we can see everything on here now what we want to do is to ideally have the, the label the control the label control so we set this as people are walking through the the form and the way that i tend to do this is to start at the end and work backwards it's just, I don't know why, but it's just the way that I, I work. Maybe I'm just backwards. Who knows? So for the controls, if we just cancel out of here and we go to page number three and we go back to our order tabs dialog here. So what I want to do is I'm going to want to have this control, this edit box. So I think the edit box was consultation notes. So you can click on that. And you can move that to the end. Actually, I want to move it to the beginning. Then we get the edit table above for edit consultations. And I want to move that to the beginning. So now what I'm doing is I'm setting up this order. So we're going to end up on consultation notes. And then before that, we'll hit the table. So if we then OK that... And we go back to page two. We'll open up that dialogue again. And this time we want to have the comments edit box. So if we find the edit box for our main comments, as well as clicking the button to move that up, you can just drag it up if you wish to. 
so you can either use the buttons or you can drag it's entirely up to you so we'll okay that and then we'll go up to number page number one we'll open up the order tabs again and we've got our edit box comments at the, at the top here so the next thing that we might want to click on might be this button and we're just going to work up through the form so this button and this is where the um, naming conventions come in is there so we'll put that one to the top then we've got this edit line for the image path so we'll move that to the top and then we've got our picture our image so that's a BMP image we've moved that to the top and then that's sitting on the group box for the patient picture. So we'll move that to the top as well. So then we'll move across. And the next thing we've got is our signature on file. The checkbox. So. Um, can't see. There we go. That one there. We move that one to the top. And then we've got the signature on file label. So we'll move that to the top. So those two are both together. And then we've got our edit line for the postcode and the label for the postcode. And then we've got the combo box for town. That one there. And the label for town. And then we've got the um, combo box for county and the label for county so let's just move the combo box up first and the label for county we then got our edit table a main one um, for address so that one there and label for address then we've got our radio buttons for gender and our label for agenda and then we've got the edit line for age or the approximate age and it's an associated label we've then got our date of birth and the label and that is all on the group for patient details which is on the tab control and then we come up to the top for the edit line for the surname and the label for surname and then we've got four names and the label for four names. We've got our combo for title, the label for title. And finally, we've got our edit line for patient number and that one as well. So we can click OK. And then if we were to test run the form. Now we can move through the control so we've gone from the edit line to the combo box across to four names to surname we then jump to the date then across to age then to the radio buttons and you get the idea so we're just stepping through our controls in a relatively logical order when we get to the edit table we get caught in the edit table so we can click on county and then we can come across to town, postcode, signature on file, and we just work through the form. So if we now close down that, and we will not save it, we don't need to save it. And we're going to open up the MDI main window. Actually, no, we're not. We'll do something else first. We're going to go to settings and application settings. And we've got our application entry point set up which is fine so that's the app entry if we open up app entry which is no longer showing on here I actually opened up a moment ago so it will be there but it probably won't be for you so you need to go into open and then you need to come down to your open insight forms and MP app entry or whatever you've called it and I think you'll find that the button for launching the application doesn't have an event on it at least mine doesn't so I'm going to change that to a quick event which is going to be to start a window and the window that we want to start is going to be our 
Um, let's get rid of show in inherited. It's going to be the MDI main. And we don't want to pass any parameters when we create it. So we will save and close. And then if we do a save and close on there, and we'll just do a save and close, close everything down. And then we'll do a control and L that will launch our application entry window. And if we do a confirm you're the registered licensee, that will now go away and launch the MDI frame. And from here, we can launch our patients window. And then we can start to enter in some data. And really, we're going to need some data in here when we run our pop ups so that it makes sense and we can see what data we're getting back and that will make more sense in the next lesson. So a nice, quick, easy one, setting the tab order and a form. In the next lesson, I'll have a bit more data entered. You'll need to enter some in your application. Um, we'll be looking at pop-ups. So I'll catch you then. Take care. Bye-bye.